Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Which branch of government vetoes bills? Have you ever wondered how laws are made and who has the power to stop them from becoming law? Let's dive into the process and find out which branch of the government has the veto power. When a bill is passed by both the House of Representatives and the Senate, it doesn't automatically become a law. Before that happens, the bill is sent to the President of the United States. This is where the veto power comes into play. The President has several options when a bill is presented to them. They can sign the bill, which makes it a law. They can also choose not to sign the bill. But if they don't take any action within 10 days while Congress is in session, the bill automatically becomes a law. However, if the President disagrees with the bill, they can veto it. Vetoing a bill means the president sends it back to Congress with their objections. This power is given to the president by the U.S. Constitution to ensure that the legislative branch doesn't become too powerful. If the president vetoes a bill, Congress can try to override the veto. To do this, both the House and the Senate must pass the bill again, but this time with a two-thirds majority vote in each chamber. If they succeed, the bill becomes a law despite the president's veto. So to answer the question, it is the executive branch, specifically the president, who has the power to veto bills. This veto power is a crucial part of the system of checks and balances that ensures no one branch of government has too much power. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions we're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.